charged in last night's deadly shooting that happened inside the Walmart in Huntersville. Hip hop is no stranger to rappers going by the name Baby. Whether it's cash money head honcho and human notebook that somebody with Parkinson's has doodled all over, Baby aka Birdman, or whether it's dollar store young thug and recipient of the most underwhelming Drake feature since he was court ordered to visit. Yeah, is it his toes? Is it any toes? Toes? Dude. Oops. His son Adonis, Lil Baby, or the Huggies wearing rapper who can't seem to go anywhere without leaving a trail of gunshot wounded goons in his wake, Dab Baby. Is you wearing a Huggies, bro? He's the lie. See, look, today I ain't got on the Huggies. I had the Huggies on the other day. Today I got on the pull ups. I'm a big boy today. This North Carolina native is one of the only rappers that has ever come out of the city of Charlotte, and he truly made 2019 his year. His recent major label debut, Baby on Baby, is packing more bangers than an arsonist on bonfire night. But it wasn't always plain sailing on the baby's come up. As he's documented extensively on his YouTube channel, the baby has spent the past few years hustling hard with his street team running all around the USA, plastering pictures of himself everywhere. He's dropped numerous projects over the years, such as Nonfiction, God's Work, Baby Talk, and Blank Blank, which actually came out the very month of the deadly Walmart shooting that you're about to find out about. Eventually, he decided to change his name from Baby Jesus to Da Baby because he thought that it was incompatible with the industry, the public, and pretty much anyone in the world. This was probably a wise move as the last up and coming artist to try and go by the name Baby Jesus ended up getting completely crucified, though he did have an equally good street <laughs> team. The baby only recently came to the mainstream attention, partly because of his Baby on Baby project, but also partly because of this deadly Walmart shooting that left a 19-year-old man dead and cemented the baby's position in hip hop as a real ass dude. However, the baby is no stranger to violence, and he's been the target of several incidents throughout his career, including attempted robberies, arrests, and even attempted murder. When in 2017, he actually tried to kill his own career by going to South by Southwest dressed in a diaper. Uh, any toes in your boys or what? It was actually this incident that caused him to fall out with his team, and he addressed this in an interview that I can only assume was recorded in the bird section of the North Carolina Zoo. Look at these old nigga diapers. Let me put one of these motherfuckers on, out on these hoes, and got them do my little dance and shit. Man, that shit went crazy. You know? Jesus but, uh, Christ! Yeah, yeah, I agree with you 100%. Them facts, yeah, that shit got stagnant. Niggas wanted to figure out a different approach, and then tried to approach it on some different shit and that shit didn't work, that's why I'm back on my baby Jesus shit, you feel me? But seriously speaking, it looked like for a while the baby just couldn't get a break. Firstly, he was a target of a pretty tough home invasion which actually left one man shot. When I come around this corner, somebody getting shot. My brother, he either, either somebody fighting with him or, you know, they didn't run, somebody running up in her, you feel me? So I, I come right, I come down the hall, what is it? No cap. Mm -hmm. I come down the hall, turn the corner like James Bond. He also was filmed getting pepper sprayed outside of a Gucci main show. Yeah, they pepper sprayed the hell out of me. What's that? They pepper sprayed the hell out of an innocent man that night. That shit hurt. You got pepper sprayed? Hell yeah, yeah. And in this hilarious moment where he was filming a music video in another state, a couple of local goons roll up on him and try and press him, asking for a permission slip to film in their hood. Who up slip? Ain't nobody signed up a permission slip for me. Mm -mm. Huh? Oh yeah? I ain't know that. Okay. This last one is actually part of a long-running trend in hip hop. What? When rappers blow up to the point where they start touring nationally and playing shows in different states, usually the local goons and gangsters will try and muscle in on the action and often will try and gain clout by telling rappers that if they want to come to their city, they need to check in and get a permission slip. Rapper 6 9 was able to play up to this and boost his clout by routinely playing into this concept and dissing local rappers that were suggesting that he needed to check in. I don't check into nobody. You 47 know what I'm months. And with that in mind, I just want to make it very clear that if XQCA. any rapper <laughs> want to play a show in Bognor Regis, you're going to have to check in with me, Kurt. Are you ever afraid that you're going to be the victim of a clout chaser? Nah, a clout chaser is going to be my victim. Mm. In the face of all these uh. constant G checks and threats, who uh. would have thought that it was this incident at a local Walmart that would leave a 19 year old man dead and the baby being thrust into the national spotlight? This incident happened at the Huntersville Walmart in North Carolina at around 6.30 p.m. on the 5th of November, 2018. This isn't actually the first time the baby has got in trouble at a Walmart. In fact, here's a clip of him drunk trying to shoot a music video in a Walmart at 6 a.m. that ended up with him getting arrested. It's what it looked like when six joint niggas try to shoot a video at Walmart at six in the morning. Well, we got a nice little wake up call in the morning. 
Story goes, the baby was in this Walmart with his baby mama and his one-year-old daughter buying winter clothes. It was at this point that Jalon Dominique Craig, a 19-year-old, approached a baby in the kids' clothing section of that Walmart, pulled a gun on him, and said that he needed to check in. We came back down here to check it. They like, yeah, come outside. And then they they clutch it. They, they clutch it. Hands in the pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was in there with that iron. You get what I'm saying? But, you know. This so when, no, when you got outside. We I mean, didn't go outside, Charlamagne. Oh, they didn't even get that far. Nah, that's what I said. That ain't how it happened when you said in the parking lot. That ain't oh, so it was in Walmart? Yes. And more breaking news tonight at 5. Police have identified the man. Chose? No. My video checker says no toes, bitch. Yo, yo, listen, listen. Hey, hey, hey. If I cup a band for this shit. Okay, all video checkers, Furga Trans, Feel Sunny, Bullshit, out, even the ones that are here right now, Physics, motherfucker, all the motherfuckers are going down. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. If they toes in here, I take a bend, y'all go down, bitches. Shot and killed inside a Huntersville Walmart as 19-year-old Jalen Craig. Some of the details about what went down immediately after the gun was pulled are unclear. But legend has it, the baby pulled out a 40 that he keeps on him and fired two to three shots. One of them hit the victim in the stomach and killed him. In fact, a grisly picture even emerged of the victim laying in a pool of blood at the Walmart. I obviously can't show you this on YouTube, but it is easily found with a Google search. And if I learned one thing from looking at that image, it's that I do not envy the cleanup team working in Walmart that day. Okay, dude. Okay, okay, dude. Lots of people reported okay, that the okay, was dude, what the fight fuck? taking place between around five people in the store, but there was no security footage to support this, and no evidence of a fight seems to have ever surfaced. Also, many false reports came out suggesting that this death was a result of a shootout in the parking lot. The local news reported extensively on this story, and one reporter even got so excited whilst interviewing the chief of police that she couldn't help but give him sloppy toppy while he was still speaking to the reporters. He believed had been involved in a shooting inside of the Walmart. Surprisingly, the baby responded in an Instagram live the next day. Let footage come out and show y'all how I was in there with my one-year-old daughter, my five-year-old little nigga, my baby mama, on some family shit. And these niggas walked up on me, tried me, whipped out on my whole family. A lot of you niggas owe me an apology, dog. Then a day after that, he popped up on Wait, Instagram once. because the guy said he need to check in. What did he need to check in? again to offer condolences to the victim of the shooting as well as clearing up any rumors that he was using this incident to promote his new release condolences goes out to the to the other parties involved i can totally understand why people would be upset about somebody using a terrible yeah but, but the provision is film but if he's not then from any video then what's the point tragedy to promote their album but we all know it works i mean who could forget after the real hannibal lecter was caught after a 12 person murder spree and it all turned out the whole thing was just a ploy to promote his new album hannibal till you fall However, in spite of his claims what? that he wasn't using this incident to promote his music, only three days after that shooting happened, he dropped his new music video, No Tears, which featured a pretty extended intro sequence that featured loads of clips from the news reporting on the killing. And we begin with that breaking news about a deadly shooting in... Okay. Also, guys, the big takeaway here, chat, is very important to understand. Okay. From the news report. Um, change your batteries in your fucking uh, fire detectors. ...on the killing. And we begin with that break... You hear that? You hear that right there? Yeah, you hear it. Yeah, I'll play it again. Watch this. News reporting on the killing. And we begin with that break. See that there? That's a fire detector. Change the motherfucking batteries. It's one big fucking. It's one. It's one of the big ass fucking uh, double the uh, double A triple A motherfucker. The big boxes, rectangle. Let's change this motherfucker, man. It's not that big of a deal. It's a D. It's a D bat. It's a D bat. Nine V. It's a. It's a nine V D bat. Hey, change those. I. Did my duty the other day, okay? This is in this is in my house. Okay, I went downstairs. I took I took some N9 VD bats. I went upstairs, and what I did, I did. I pulled up the fucking ladder all the way to the sky high limit. Boom, cling, bang, and I changed the fucking batteries. It's not even a joke. How was that a joke? How was that a joke? You know, did it. You don't want to be a victim of a fucking house Fine, fire and die in your sleep, do you? You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You didn't know what will, what will happen, man. My dad, my dad always made a big a big deal about it. Okay, my dad always did make a big. He always said, change the batteries. It's very important. Now when I hear a beep, I change the fucking batteries, man. You don't wake up. You don't wake up. If the, if the, if if the fucking smoke sips in, and you're sipping on that, and you're and you're you're huffing, you're you're dead. Chaotic scene yesterday. 
It's also worth noting that in these clips, he actually did include moments that suggested that the shooting had taken place after a fight. Now, I don't know whether this was a red herring to throw people off of the idea that it was a fight or whether this is DeBaby essentially Attics confirming Swedish that a fight did take place before the shooting. Police DeBaby was reportedly arrested Lee. for carrying a concealed weapon, but these charges were later dropped. This is an interesting tidbit because when you go back and look at some of the footage where DeBaby is talking about the incident, he doesn't necessarily take responsibility for the shooting, but he often just mentions the gunshots that saved his life. You know, them gunshots ain't go off, nigga. Motherfucking door could have got hit. Someone could have got hit. Me. Now, what's most likely is that he's just using clever wording for legal reasons I so wish that he's I had not necessarily doubt. implicating himself in anything beyond a self-defense shooting. But on the other hand, there have been some suggestions made on the internet that he actually wasn't the trigger man in the shooting. Whilst we're talking about the legalities of self-defense shootings, it's worth noting that North Carolina actually does have the controversial stand your ground law, which means that under reasonable circumstances, the duty to flee a dangerous situation are removed, allowing you to essentially by law stand your ground and defend yourself with deadly force. There's actually an amazing moment in DeBaby's interview with Charlemagne at the wait, breakfast club. Wait, what? He... I don't get it. Isn't this kind of reasonable though? I don't get it. Uh... Guys, if if let's say you're you're armed and you have no other choice, right? Not everywhere you're allowed to re to return fire or, or defend. You have to just fucking run or just take it. I don't get it. I mean that that sounds really fucking stupid. What? What? Oh, it's easily abusable. Oh, okay, so I guess they don't have a stand your ground, and then you would go case by case, right? And then Bang. it's like a Shazam. like a soft lot of a thing, here. right? Like you'd go case, you'd say no, but case by case, kind of yes type of thing, right? Situation are removed, allowing you to essentially by law stand your ground and defend yourself with deadly force. There's actually an amazing moment in DeBaby's interview with Charlemagne at the Breakfast Club when he's asked whether or not the police ever get tired of seeing him on these self defense yes. charges. And Just saying. Let's say you at home the pot, okay? Some dude pulls out a gun, and then you decide there's a hammer, and you go, shabang, bop, bop with the hammer, right? You're chilling, but not. I don't know. And he comes back with one of the realest things I've ever heard a rapper say. Hey, hey, do, do we get tired of seeing them on eight self-defense charges? Yeah, okay. All right, all right. let's play fair. Well, the shooting actually seemed to do wonders for DaBaby's career, and it cemented his reputation as a real-ass dude in the hip-hop scene, as well as bringing a whole lot of extra attention to his music. He went on to sign with Interscope in January of 2019, dropped his debut project, Baby on Baby, which featured the smash singles, Suge and Babysitter. No, I understand it's that, that's a very musical thing concept, I get it. Nardwa the Human Serviette, and turned him into Nardwa the Human Wallet. Yeah, though, too. <laughs> Essentially, the baby seems to have an uncanny ability to finesse every bad situation into a victory. In fact, this situation seems to have worked out so well for the baby, and he was recently offered a lucrative seven-figure endorsement deal from Walmart themselves. Stand your ground. Okay, dude. Fuck. This guy is such a... This is so fucking dumb, dude. Okay, dude. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Hit the notification bell so you can see every single time I upload. And if you want to support the channel more, definitely go and cop a Trap Law Ross t-shirt in my store. The link is in the description.